30. There was four and a half to five foot of water coming down Cotton Hollow Road and going across the state Route 187. It's very devastating for everybody, including myself. Picking up the pieces in Pennsylvania, cleanup efforts underway in the Twin Tiers after strong storms and flash flooding hit overnight. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. Nick Quatrini is off tonight. We begin with team coverage from across the region, showing you how these flash floods have damaged homes and roads. We begin tonight in Wyndham Township, Pennsylvania, where WENY's Leander Rosa spent the entire day today. She tells us that's where the storm seems to have hit the hardest. So we had people floating down the road in beds this morning. We had people missing. We had people hung up in guardrails, hung up in guy wires, needed to be rescued. Um, total disaster. Wyndham Township Supervisor Gail Bowen says he woke up to nearly five feet of water rushing past his house down the hill and onto Route 187. Water washed through homes, moved cars and sheds, and tore up roads. Wyndham Township seeing the brunt of the storm. It was a river down the road and on both sides of the house, and then everything started cracking, so we went upstairs, and that's when the front part of the house blew, blew apart, and then everything went out the back wall. Steve Seymour is one of dozens of people rescued from their homes or cars overnight across the northern and southern tier. There's tons of trees down. Lots of bridges are out, guardrails are in the middle of the road, roads are sinking, it's, it's bad. Just a few miles up the road near Nichols, the Wapasenning Creek pounded a bridge with debris. So strong, crews were afraid the bridge would fail, something that happened years ago during the flood of 2011. Bowen says flooding and devastation will continue to be a problem unless these creeks get cleaned and fixed soon. We have got to do something in this state to resolve this crick issue. You can dredge the Chesapeake for the rich and famous all day, but if they don't start at the headwaters and work from the headwaters down, they're never gonna solve this issue, okay? Enough's enough, let's get it done. In Wyndham Township, Leander Rosa, WENY News. Along with police and